Hello, welcome to this video. I'm going to tell something about this small thing here. It's a Yamaha CS01 Mark II and it's a old analog synthesizer from Yamaha from the early 80s. So this is what the synthesizer looks like. It has this black case with green text since this uh, this one there have been also some other synths with black and green some brand even made a whole line with this black and green but let's go back to the to the Yamaha so What's going on with this thing? This is a really, really small synthesizer. It has tiny mini keys. And uh, what's special, it's actually really, really good sounding. It doesn't have MIDI or anything like that, but it has a nice sound. So, for example, that's what it sounds like comparing to this. So. What we are comparing here, this is I'm playing with it with this more modern 1990s CS1X, but actually, that's not what we are hearing. This is this is actually a Behringer model D with a single oscillator on. So many more copies. So back actually, this is actually not even that far from that mini Moog sound. If we are using just a single oscillator. So basically, what we have here, it's a very very simple thing. We have here a glide glissando. which is actually not completely smooth, it goes like semitones but if you have it on fast enough it sounds like the one on the on the model D which of course it's completely smooth uh, this one here it's just the tuning and then we have here uh, feet, we have actually white noise. Thirty-two, eighteen, eight and four feet. And then we have here five different waveforms. We have a triangle wave. Sawtooth vibe. Okay, I'm having some trouble with the some trouble to my mixer. A square wave. A pulse wave. And the part a piece of this whole thing, which is the uh, pass with modulus on PWM. And the uh, one exceptional feature is that it has a separate LFO for the PWM speed. This LFO here, which we can either use with the VCO or VCF. So we can use 
P P W M and L F O for for vibrato at the same time, which is not possible with with major synths, which only have one L F O. Then we have uh, the V C O actually. Even it says here V C O actually. This is not an actual VCO, it's a uh, Yamaha concept, a, a DTG, a digital tone generator, it's one single chip doing all this and all, including the LFO. And also the key tracking is also done by the same chip. But then we have the uh, VCF, which is an analog filter. So we have here a 24 dB low pass filter. That's a difference to the Mark 1, which had a 12 dB per octave, this is 24. We can also uh, here select, like, we can use the uh, envelope generator. And then we have the uh, resonance. Which uh, goes to 100%. So this is now just the just the filter. Unfortunately, it doesn't have key tracking, so it's only single. But we can you know, we can use the we can use the EG for this kind of effects with a short decay time and long release time. So this is just the VCA, uh, just basically doubling as a volume control because it's just like everything goes via the EG. Then we have uh, ADSR. normal four-step ADSR. Pitch bend only goes up, and it goes a little bit over one octave, which is a bit annoying. And it's spring loaded. The modulation wheel is not. And then we, if we use the uh, LFO for VCF. Now it's controlling the filter. So this synth actually is very capable for being so small. It even has an internal speaker. But I'm using here normal plug out. We can do nice bass lines with this one. So I have nice solo sounds. This was recorded completely 
without any effects so like if we use some effects we can have some even more crazy So I bought this synthesizer as brand new when it was still sold as new equipment in early 1980s and uh, I still consider it to be my favorite synthesizer of, of everything I own. It's so simple, has a beautiful sound and I'm still using it constantly. Uh, the keyboard, it's uh, on high priority, which I like, like you can make nice bass lines with that for example. without an effect. So that's basically what I wanted to tell about this Yamaha CSO1 Mark II. This beautiful tiny monothins from the 1980s. And of course one cool thing that also works as a guitar, it has uh, attachments for for strap, guitar strap, which I actually have here also connected. So basically We can use this as a guitar. Like this. Having the, the sliders here actually makes it very nice to use as a guitar house because you can It's easy to annoy people with this one, but really, it, it, it's it's really useful for many things, even like like synth bass.
And even it doesn't have any any memories, it's very easy to use. Also very good for making sound effects. So that's it for the Yamaha CSO one Mark II. Thanks for watching and bye.